are the tabs that everyone's breaking. And again, do not feel bad if you break them. Everyone has done it. It's simple to break the tabs, but it's also very simple to fix and simple to avoid once you know what you're doing that's causing this breakage. All right, step one. First thing you gotta do is turn the truck on and engage the PTO. The PTO is the hydraulic system which actually allows the hook lift to work. Without the PTO engaged, you can hit all the buttons you want, the hook lift's not gonna go. So to do that, all you gotta do is turn the truck on. And right here, you see this switch and it's, it looks like a stick figure truck. So there's four wheels and then an offshoot. This represents the PTO. So all you're gonna do is hit that button. As soon as you hit that button, you can hear the PTO actually engage. And now we're ready to go outside and start working the truck. So right over here, you have this locking tab. This locking tab, there's one on this side and there's one directly opposing it on this side. It's held up by a grade five two inch by quarter inch bolt. It's just a simple bolt with a nylon lock. And what's happening is this, this jib section is going out of sequence. It's getting rotated forward prior to coming, coming in and being able to be tucked under this tab. And it's coming on top of this tab. So we're gonna show you what's causing it and what we have to do to avoid snapping these tabs. All right, so we're gonna start with a proper sequence on how to use this system. So the proper sequence, this is a four button channel. It's really only meant to be operated one function at a time. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go out with your jib. Going out with your jib allows the jib to clear those tabs. Next thing you're gonna do is go up. Now you'll continue to go up and this is actually the process you'll use to offload and load a container. What's happening though is after someone loads a container, they're actually, rather than coming down all the way and then articulating the, jab, the jib in to allow us to get underneath those tabs, this is what's happening. They will rotate out properly to, a, to pick up a container. They will go up through the, fun through the function of the hoist to pick the container up. And then on the way back down, before the, this first section comes all the way down, people are rotating this jib in. When you rotate this jib in before it comes all the way down, you end up on top of these locks. And we're gonna show you that right now. All right, so let's say, let's say this is your first hook lift ever, ever operating. You watched all the videos, you watched the instruction videos, you watched the procedure videos, but you still were in a hurry or just forgot and you ran the hook out of sequence and you did happen to break those tabs that we were just talking about. What I'm gonna do right now is just walk you through a very simple fix so you can be up and running. All right, so here's the, the, the easiest way to fix the issue that we just ran into is snapping these tabs. You're gonna know these tabs are snapped because A, this jib section is gonna be on top of them, and B, these tabs are actually gonna be sitting down here. So you sheared this bolt off. You probably won't find the bolt. There's gonna be a bolt on this side and a bolt on the other side. Both tabs will be broken. Both tabs need to be repaired. It's a very, very simple repair. First thing you wanna do, chances are there's a container on this body or on this hook that you're gonna to have to clear off to safely work underneath it. You'll notice when these tabs are broke, this steel section right here is actually gonna pop up and trigger this safety. What this safety does is it, it disables the function of the hook lift so that you really can't operate it properly. To bypass this safety temporarily, you're gonna push down on this and you're gonna slide it forward and you're gonna lock this ear over this Allen nut. That'll allow you to clear the container. You're just gonna hit, you're gonna hit out all the way, and then you're gonna hit up, and you're gonna clear the container from it before you work underneath it. At that point, you could push this back down, slide it back over the Allen nut so that you can see the hole 
you're gonna take a grade five, two inch by quarter inch bolt with a nylon lock nut. You don't need a washer, you just need the grade five, two inch by quarter inch with nylon lock nut. You're gonna pick the tab up like this. You're gonna slide the bolt through the holes, making sure it includes this bracket. You're gonna go from the underneath side, put the nylon lock nut, and you're going to use two wrenches and get it wrenched tight. You do not want any play in this tab. If you have play in this tab, you did it wrong. You either have too much of a shank on the bolt, you either have the wrong bolt, or you didn't use a wrench to tighten it. So just make sure you tighten it so there is no play. You're gonna repeat this procedure on the other side. The only difference is, on the other side, you do not have to worry about this safety bypass. It's only on this side. So now we've gone over those tabs, we've gone over how to fix them, we, can't, got, we went over what we did to break them and how to avoid that. Now let's say you have the container on, everything's loaded properly. You don't wanna off the load the container, but you do wanna get the load out of the container. This hoist can be used as a standard dump truck. How you do that, you do not need to articulate the jib at all. If you're just looking to offload what's in the container and not the container, just go ahead and open up your barn doors and you're gonna hit up on the hoist. That'll just dump it like a normal dump truck. So up and down, those are the only two buttons you'll hit in that case.